Yeah, ask them about their grandma. Hey guys, welcome back to a new video, and I hope you guys are having a really, really cool weekend, even though it's nearly over, which is really sad. So we're gonna be doing something a little bit different today. I absolutely love, love, love taking online quizzes and tests and like which bagel are you which fly would you be what kind of end of world scenario would you find yourself in how do you spread ketchup on your toast all this nonsense i am like so clickbaited by i'm like yes I want to find out which flavor jam suits my personality the most. I really like those kind of tests. However, I was actually on uh, Marzia's channel, uh, Cutie Pie's channel, and I saw she did this personality test. And I know these personality tests, they give you like a four letter personality type. And she said that she'd done this test previously. She was revisiting it to see how she changed over time. And I thought it was a really nice idea and it's something I wanted to give a go. I think I've given this a go ages ago in like uni, but I can't remember what quiz results I got. And also I think the nice thing about personality is you do change and evolve and just become a bit of a different person over time so I think it'd be quite nice to see what I'm like now and then maybe I'll do something like Marcia in a few years time I'll take it again and see how I've changed one thing I would quickly like to say on this because I want you guys to give it a go as well uh, I'll leave the link in the description below take these things with a pinch of salt you are not four letters like you are so much more than that your personality is so much more than that I'm just saying that I know of people that get these results and then kind of mold their lives around this four letter thing you are more than four letters, guys. You are way more than four letters. So that's just what that's just what I just what I wanted to say before I got into it. Also, look, all my advertising. All my advertising is always, always Sims. Okay, let's give this little quiz a go. Basically, I'm gonna have to put the sliders to one side or the other um, and figure out which whether I agree or disagree. And I think there's a few pages worth to get through. So Let's start this quiz off. So I am the life of the party. I would, s I don't think that's true. I think I enjoy being in a group of people if I know and like those people and I'll chit chat along. But I'm gonna leave myself in the middle. I'm not like the person to show in a corner, but I'm definitely not the person at the center of attention either. I find it easy to make friends. Okay, this I definitely disagree with. Not because I don't try and make friends. Like I really like, I really want to make lots of friends. And the issue I have is, this is so silly. I feel like if someone's been friendly with me that they're just kind of like like pretending almost in a little way and I kind of have this thing in my head I will annoy people if I try and be their friend so I've got loads of people that I would love to text and ask to hit up and like go out for coffee or something and I feel embarrassed like they don't want to go out with me and I'd be really like I just feel like they don't want to be my friend and I feel embarrassed I find it hard to make friends and for that reason I definitely disagree with the fact that I have many friends I like I push people away and don't reply to people because I think that they don't like me enough others describe me as outgoing and friendly I think that's quite true I think despite this I actually am um, quite like, I, I like meeting new people and chit chatting with them. I prefer to work with others. See, I found this when I actually worked in an office a lot. I love working in a group. However, I like my way of doing things. I, I am a little bit of a control freak in that. So I'm gonna put it up one. I'm gonna put it up one. Talking with others energizes me. <sighs> See, if I'm talking about something I really like and I really get into, like if you start talking to me about Skyrim, I will be like really like <laughs> and just like go really crazy talking so I'm gonna push that one up one. Others would describe me as a social butterfly. See despite these things I definitely don't think I'm a social butterfly. If I, if someone comes up to me and we have a similar interest I'll be really engaged but otherwise I'm oh <laughs> I just skipped ahead. What? Go back. Oh no. Oh no, I pressed the button. I'm gonna have to start it again, aren't I? No, let me return to the beginning. What are you doing? What are you doing? Guys, I broke the test. It won't let me go back. I'm gonna have to open it in an incognito window. Okay, I'm gonna have to try and remember what I said. I've lost my Sims adverts as well. It's all about BMI now. I prefer to communicate with others in a large group. Uh, I like If you ask me if I wanna hang out with a group of six people or a group of three, I would say six every time. I think there's a lot of pressure on a small group. So I'm gonna put that up. Now I'm on 8% for real, you guys. Sometimes I jump right into a project without really thinking things through. Yep, definitely can do that. <laughs> I can start conversations even e easily even with it's someone I've just met. Uh, I'm gonna put myself down one I will definitely try and make conversation with people But I like have a little panic in my head thinking about what can I ask them about? I need all these questions I need a I, I need like an anchor of something to talk around and without the anchor I can find it a little bit hard a little bit hard. It does not take people very long to get to know me I am a big oversharer, so I'm gonna go ahead and say that's probably true to others I seem like an open book I'm gonna leave that in the middle. I don't think I'm like an open book, but I wouldn't say that like people never really get to know me. 
Because look, I just set up for that one. <laughs> Mine are all over the place, you guys. I tend to think before I speak. Yes, I do do that. There's two reasons I do that. One is because if you ever listen to someone who doesn't do that, then they can sometimes say quite hurtful things and I don't want to be that person. I also do that because I am very conscious of my accent. I have a bit of a northern accent. So I think about the way to say things before I say them, which is quite exhausting, actually. I find it difficult to meet new people. I would say I actually agree with that. Ali and I do not get out of the house anywhere near enough to do that. After a stressful day, I sometimes need a lo time alone to relax. Okay, this is where Ali and I are completely the opposite to everyone I know. Ali and I don't believe in alone time. <laughs> and so, like, if you're the kind of person that likes to be on their own, you probably listen to that and think, wow, you guys are really crazy. We are like the happiest when we're together. Even if we're sat in a room on our phones not talking to each other, I would so much rather he be there. So I would say I need Ali. I need Ali. So I strongly, strongly disagree with that. Others would describe me as reverse, reserved and quiet. I don't think that's the case. Okay, guys, 15%. I'm going to have to speed up. I have a few close friends rather than many friends. I do agree with that. I think that's probably true. And actually, I'm closest with my family. I have a big family, big Irish family, lots of women's. Evie is my bestest pal. I prefer to work alone. I feel like it's already asked me this. I'm often overwhelmed when there are many people around. No, I don't get that kind of feeling at all. I know some people don't like there being loads of people around, but if I kind of want to go into my own zone, I can do that if there's loads of people there. Like, I can feel like I can blend in if I need to. I prefer to communicate with others one-to-one -one or in small groups. I don't like talking in front of loads of people, but then what am I doing right now? I have trouble starting conversations with someone I just met, but not with people. Yeah, okay. So that's what I mean. If I've met someone for a while and we've got a bit of a, what's the word, a, we've got a good rep, rep, repertoire, no. Rapport, we've got a good rapport, I find that easy. But if it's someone new, I'll be like, oh my gosh, what can you ask them about? Talk about this TV show, talk about this game. No, they don't like that, oh my God, what? Bleh, ask them about their grandma. People tell me I'm a good listener. I don't think people have ever told me that, but they've never told me I'm not. So there you go. 23%. I would rather make the right decision, even if it means hurting someone else's feelings. Oh, I am such a sucker for not upsetting people. Like I'm very, very empathetic. Like if there's a really evil old man who'd done loads of terrible things and someone pushed him into like a, a water fountain, I would be so sad. Like, what's the question again? <laughs> when someone has a problem, I start by offering advice. Oh my gosh, yes. This is so me. Ali has had to train me not to do this because he would come to me and sometimes he just wants me to, uh, to ask questions about it or like give him some support. And instead I'm like, okay, this has happened. Why do you, we'll start it by doing this. I am like a problem solver rather than an emotional solver, I would say. Probably because pro pro solving problems is a lot easier than dealing with emotions. Ali is helping me, he's training me because he is the complete opposite of that. See, these are so, like, they're so contrast with each other. But I am, log I am really logical and I can be very harsh when it comes to me. But if there's other people involved, I am way too empathetic. So I'm like both. Like, how do you even, how do you even, I was going to say monetize that. <laughs> we were talking about this the other day when Evie was um, sick and we were like, what is the maximum we would spend on Evie to help her if she got really ill? And there literally wouldn't be a maximum. Even though logically you shouldn't spend all of your money on your dog, I would. <laughs> I wouldn't do that in a heartbeat. I see rules and laws as black and white. Absolutely not. I think that's a very naive way to see the world. I think when you're younger, you tend to think this is wrong and this is right. And then when you get older, you realize there's no black and white. There's just like lots of shades of gray. When others are sad, I get sad, you know. That is definitely me. <laughs> I worry that others uh, may view me as mushly and overly emotional. See, I think people probably do. I'm not worried about it, so. <laughs> I'm gonna leave it in the middle though because I know what it means and I know what it's trying to say I just feel like I've got to a place in my life where I don't care so much if people do think that Even if I don't agree with the choices, I can still see things from their perspective Yes, that is definitely something I always, always, always try and do And again, that's something you do more as you get older I avoid confrontation Oh my gosh, I, I hate confrontation I hate, hate, hate confrontation So yes to that I sugarcoat my feedback Yes, guys, you've got to do the sandwich. The sandwich theory. It's you're really great at this. However, this needs work. But overall, you're still great. That's yes, yes, yes. I like my sandwiches. I am traditional. No, I don't think I'm traditional. I'd rather be called practical than inventive. No, I, I would quite like to be called inventive. <laughs> okay, we're halfway through, you guys. This is a long quiz. I'm going to be getting faster and faster as I go through. <gasps> oh my gosh, I nearly just pressed it again. I am detail orientated. No. I like routine. No. I have a strong ability to recall details. Yes, okay, this is like, you know when you have a thing about yourself that you like and you're quite like happy about? I have a good memory. 
and I really like having a good memory because I got it from my dad. My dad's got a really good memory and I like that we have this thing together and I like that I rely on Ali a lot for certain things and he relies on me for other things and one of the things he relies on me for is my memory. He can ask me about anything we've done together and I can, I can remember it and tell him it and I really like being able to do that for him. I am very imaginative. I like to think so. I am unconventional. I think people love to, the idea that they are unconventional, but I think most people aren't. So I am gonna just leave that in the middle. I have great ideas, but they are not realistic. Like becoming a breeder of dogs and cats. Yeah, I think that's fair. I focus on the big picture. Yes, that's really hard to do, but it's something you have to do. It, getting, ob like, getting obsessed and getting really upset about loads of tweets about something when the overall picture is this. I, I, I wanna be that overall picture person. I don't want this person that's getting upset about like little things. I don't wanna be that person. I share my ideas with metaphors and analogies. Yes, I think I probably do. I enjoy brainstorming various possibilities. Who enjoys brainstorming? But I am not organized. I'm like down here. My work, if I could show you my workspace right now, like I just have discs out. I have like a debit card that I'm gonna hide all the details for, but it's just been on my desk like forever. Hair slide, a drill bit. I, no, 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 no. I always get my work done before relaxing. Actually, Ellie and I definitely do that. Sometimes it's very sad to do because we just want to watch Supervet, but you gotta do what you gotta do. Others would describe me as organized and methodical. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm almost... I am always late. Ellie and I are terrible for it. He's worse than me. He's so much worse than me, but we are bad. We are bad. Oh, guys, I've just done it again. Ah! Why do I keep doing that? It's because the enter button is right there. Why doesn't it have a back button? That's so annoying, test. I work in spurts of energy, powered by coffee. I do my best work under pressure. I do. You've got to be careful answering this, that you answer it more what you actually are rather than what you wish you were. So I'm gonna actually put myself down a little bit. I'm not as flexible as I like to think I am. Deadlines are not set in stone. They kind of are though. <laughs> Oh guys, 92% These are the last ones. I have a hard time making decisions. No, I don't think I'm too bad. I enjoy being spontaneous. I think I do. I already said it's messy. I procrastinate often. I'm not addicted to Reddit for nothing. So here we go. Bear in mind we missed out a page, which is really annoying. But hopefully it should still be okay. <gasps> da -da -da -da! I am an INFP. I would not have predicted that that's what it was going to say I was. So I'm an introverted, intuitive, feeling, perceiving, okay? So, can it please give me a little bit more info? Oh look, I'm the same as JK Rowling and Jude Law. That's fantastic. We make up about 7% of the population. We're highly independent. No, I'm not. We seek out creativity and freedom. We are cooperative and friendly and we are able to conceptualize big ideas and theories, okay? See, it said though, it did say that I'm only 5% introverted. I'm 24% intuitive. I'm only 14% feeling, but I am 48% perceiving. So I would say feeling and introverted, I'm only just. Like, I'm literally only just. I'm barely them at all. So apparently I'm warm, idealistic, and compassionate. I'm open-minded and accepting. Unless someone is valid in my, vi my values. We want to change the world in whatever way we can. We want to make it a better place. I like that. I do like that. However, <laughs> because we rely on our intuitions, we must be careful not to read into everything too much. We may uh, misrepresent a friend's emotions and over-dramatize things. I think that's probably true. <laughs> Others may come to view me as overly sensitive or dramatic. Okay. What about my personal relationships? We understand a great deal of responsibility when it comes to parenting. We are warm, loving, and supportive. That's really nice, you guys. We're great role models. Okay, that's good. We're willing to let their ch uh, my child make its own mistakes. That is part of the learning process. I think that's good. But we are, do have trouble dealing with difficult children. <laughs> that's probably gonna be true. Romantic relationships. We are warm, kind partners who are willing to go the extra mile to ensure the relationship succeeds. They focus on their partner's needs and feelings and are very positive. They seek out new and interesting date ideas and they don't like to fall into a rut. I think that's really good. We're always looking out for our partner. But because we avoid conflict and thrive on our partner's affirmation, we may have a tough time dealing with criticism or admitting when they were wrong. See, that I think was definitely the case with younger Claire. Older Claire has got so much better about this because you can't be in a healthy relationship 
and not be able to deal with these things. Like, you will just, your relationship will die. It will die. We are positive and supportive as friends. We have no trouble making and keeping friends. No, that's not what I said. That's the opposite of what I said. Let's have a look at my career. We work independently and creatively. We do not do well in high stress environments or environments that require a great deal of teamwork. See, this is where I'm definitely, I think I'm not too much in the direction it thinks I am because I feel like I work really well on my own like I'm doing now like YouTube's on my own but I also really enjoyed it when I was working in a big team and I enjoyed pressure and deadlines so I kind of like both like I definitely think I like both we are suited for careers a writer dancer artist photographer counselor human resources professional teacher or social worker what about youtuber <laughs> what about sim story maker and here is how I compared to some of the other ones so I was actually nearly well I was 12% INTP which I think is more thinking than feeling which I knew I would be very close to because I think I can do I do both I definitely do do both I also was quite high on the thinking again and also J what is J the J is for judgment so it's funny because like I feel like these two are probably quite different from each other ISTJ and INFP but I was really close to being both of them. Like, there really wasn't that much in it for me. And my, uh, my personality is definitely more female orientated. I guess that's the feeling and uh, empathy side of things. And also, it's very high in the over 60s group. So guys, that was my personality test results. I'm going to leave a link in the description for this below so that you guys can give it a go as well. Please let me know how you compare to mine. And let me know if you were as close as me because I feel kind of sad that I'm not very much in one direction. I am kind of like definitely a bit of a mix of these three, I would say. Definitely not very much one or the other. I mean, there's only like four or five percent between me and the one below me. So it's a little bit of a shame that I'm not really focused in one direction. But hey, that's the way it goes. So please let me know what you guys get in the comments below and I'll see you guys in another video. Bye.